Hello guys, this is Tivek and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Minecraft uh, Season 2. Yeah. So I am cooking up a lot of this clay that I collected into bricks and uh, today I want to get started with something quite exciting and really really cool. Railcraft and Steve's carts. But I think mostly this will be about railcraft. Um, you'll see I've already crafted up a cart manager um, because I wanted to take a look at a few of the things uh, and I didn't have the chance to start recording but the recipe for this is simple just two iron ingots, two stone, a crafting table and a book and you get the cart manager. We'll get into this one later it's really cool I tell you but for now I'm gonna let this all smelt up so I will be back once I have smelted all this clay. Yeah, it'll do take a while, I'm sure. I might actually craft an overclocker. Hmm, let's do that. The overclocker upgrades. We need an electronic circuit, some copper cable, and uh, I suppose we have the iron ingot. Uh, we have uh, these two. And it did look like I had five of these. I'm gonna need a couple of these. Let's make 12, I suppose. Like so. And we can craft it up in this one. That's 12. And another 12. Perfect. I need to take this out so that we can cook this one into a refined iron ingot. There we go. Yep. Oh, I want to put these back into cooking. Perfect. So, you've seen me craft a circuit before. Nothing advanced with that. Now, we're going to need coolant cells. For that, I need to have... Um, I think I can use this to do that. Wow, that was a lot. Um, let's see. The coolant cells are made from water cells, which are made from empty cells. So it's four tin. And we'll probably not need that much, so... There we go, empty cells. I need to make three. So let's go get three of these. I could actually make more, but... Let's make two overclockers. There we go. I'm gonna need another iron ingot, and I'm gonna need another two redstone dust. And you can hop out again. There we go. Doopy doopy doo. And we craft these up again into one of these little nifty things. There we go. And the water cells need to be compressed in the extractors. So here's the thing with the extractors. They can only take one of these cells, which kind of sucks, but nothing we can do about it. We don't need the rubber anymore, and uh, one of these can go up there. That's one coolant cell, and I'll be back once these three are done. And we're almost there. There we go. Perfect. So, an electronic circuit, these three, and boom, overclocker. Now I'm going to borrow this one for this for now. As you can see, it's much faster. It also, incidentally, uses up a lot more energy. So, we're going to have to live with that. I might have to craft a couple of more of these overclockers so that I can f quickly generate whatever item I need to craft in here. And as you can see it's still quite slow. Perfect. So, overclocker. Boom. Perfect. I'll take this one out and I'll slam these two in here. And that's an improvement, I tell you. But, of course, we can drain our 
energy fairly quick with this, so we have to be careful. The reason why I make these bricks is that I need to make a pair of uh, coal coke furnaces. So let me grab about that much. Not entirely sure how much I'm gonna need. And uh, let's use the project table here. You place five of these and four of these. And the coke oven that you build requires a total of uh, 26 bricks. Okay? So I need to be able to take 26 ones. And this is not enough for that. I think I need 100 and uh, 104 bricks in total for this. So I might have to go and get more of these at some point, but uh, eventually I am going to spend a lot of time uh, collecting clay so that we can make a lot of these. The main reason for uh, the coke oven is uh, the creosote oil. This is used for wooden ties and we need a lot of these. Trust me, it's a lot of them. So, yeah, I'm gonna let this cook up and uh, I'll be back with you once uh, we are ready to get started building a coke oven. I'm gonna grab the 26, uh, 26 bricks out of there, okay? Back in a bit. I just wanted to show you how fast this one cooks things up with five overclockers. But I think that will leave a quite big dent in my energy, L energy storage. Yeah, look at that. It's going down bit too fast but yeah it's how things work when you have a lot of overclockers and we're gonna need to macerate up a lot of this iron anyhow so I'm gonna stick the iron in here so that it can go and we're gonna move these overclockers once this is done we'll have at least one of these now I'm sure one of these uh, coke oven bricks but there will be a lot more clay to collect. Here we go. How's the macerator working with this? Oh dear. <laughs> He's a power hungry one. At least he'll run out of material before he runs out of power. So. Okay, so we need to have 26. Perfect. We don't have enough for uh, the next set, but we can probably go collect clay for that. Okay, so I've dug out a little area down here in where I am going to build my two coke ovens. And um, they can't be. Um, they can't be adjacent to each other, so let's build them along the wall here. You build them like this. This is a 3x3, three three, but you leave this center piece empty, and then you put the last one in, and there we go. Boom. Coke oven. I should be able to put that. Yeah, I can. That's awesome. Cool. I didn't know that. Let's uh, just uh, fix this up. And I'm gonna use that one to make it look a bit neat. Perfect. Still working? Perfect. Now we need to put some coal in there. But here's the question. I know wood works as well. Um, so let's take a full stack of wood in this coke oven and see if it's as slow as it used to. Yeah, very slow. Um, uh, let me get the coal. So, this takes a lot of time. And when I say a lot of time, I mean it's three minutes for one coal. Okay? 
That's a total of 192 minutes or 3 hours to go through one stack of coal and you only get half of this worth of creosote oil. Can you see why I want more of these? I want to have this room full. So I'm going to have one more here and then one in... Let me see. I can have... Yeah, I can have two, uh, three total along this wall, which is where I will start. And then uh, I have this room to craft stuff. Eventually, we're going to build a loading bay for all the carts. Uh, I have a pretty nifty plan, but I don't know if it will work. So we're going to have to experiment a bit and see. Uh, okay, I'm running low, low on sand again. That's no good. I just realized I had these. So let's see if I can grab 26. Yep, perfect. And build a second one. Let me just grab another stack of coal. And we'll build this one. So it's like... There. It's hollow again. And we close it. And bam. So, now we have two coke ovens running. Yay. This is awesome. And as I said, we're gonna need a lot. And a lot. And a lot of it. The good thing is you don't need any fuel to start the process. So once I get a forestry farm, or maybe even a farm uh, using the carts, I don't know, we'll see, I will be able to pipe wood into this one. And as you know, forestry farms tend to produce a lot of that. So, yeah. Speaking of that, I might want to start planning at least for some forestry stuff. That's going to be a lot of mixed stuff now, isn't it? I hope you're alright with that, guys. But I mean, if you're not alright with it, you don't have to watch. But of course you want to watch, so yeah. Let's stick these in here. And I'll steal half of the overclockers. And this is not really time critical, nothing of this is. So we'll keep the overclockers in there so we can stuff them in the machine that we need them to be in. Um, the next thing I want to build is the rolling machine. The rolling machine, not the rolling pin, a rolling machine, is a nifty little uh, creation that you use for railcraft to build a lot of things. Um, so let's start by making pistons. I need three, four of them. So four iron, four redstone, a bunch of cobblestone. And wood. I need planks. I can grab that. I need a bunch of iron and a bunch of redstone. So four of these. Four of these. Four on each. Oh. And oh, always forget that. You roll the mouse wheel down to increase the amount. That's four. And then you just stick a crafting table and iron ingots. So let's make the crafting table. Put the pistons around and bang. Rolling machine. Let's um, let's put that one down here, I think, for now. There. Ta-da. So... You can make standard rail out of tri uh, iron ingots. Um, you can also use these in a blast furnace to get steel ingots. This one is a bit special. It uses charcoal though, uh, and uh, charcoal or coal coke to make the steel. And steel ingots in a rolling machine make 16 rails. And of course, double up is better. So, 
What do I need to make a blast furnace? Well, I'm gonna need nether bricks, soul sand, oh dear, there's a lot, and magma creams. So I am going to have to spend quite some time in the nether. Oh, yay. Oh well. Any fun, anything for the fun of it. Oh yeah, I did capture a bunch of uh, endermen. Which is quite awesome. Um, let me check my hunter's pack as well. I think I have found another one. Yes. So I got... Oh, ten ender pearls. Awesome. And a lot of strings. And I should probably craft myself... Hmm. Fishing spear, sacks, white thread. I have no idea what to use that. Oh, you can make pandas. I have no idea. It's uh, from uh, size mod. There's a lot of things you can do with that. Some of them don't have complete recipes yet, so yeah. Um, I will go to the Nether once this. First round of the. Yeah, maybe not. You see, one creosote oil for one cold coke. Oh dear. Hmm. But we do need to have that blast furnace. We really do. So. I'm thinking here if I should maybe start making a few forestry. Things. Uh, hold on a moment and I'll think. Alright guys, I did a bit of thinking and uh, there is one thing that I really want to get started before I dig deep into railcraft and all of that stuff. And that's, uh, and also before I do thumbcraft, uh, no sorry, not thumbcraft, um, uh, forestry. And that is a sorting system. It would really be useful. But that's gonna take a bit of time and I need a few components so I'm going to spend some time now collecting all the items that I need and uh, reading up a bit on uh, how to make a red power sorting system. In my previous season I made one using uh, logistics pipes and while that is all fun and good it's a bit cheating. It's easy and uh, it yeah, I just want to try something new, and I'm going to use red power. So, I am going to go collecting clay, because I need to make a few clay items, and I will also go and uh, produce a few of these little things. I'll build the machines on camera, though, so I will see you in a bit, and uh, by that time I should have more clay, so see you soon. All right. I grabbed a bunch of clay and also quite a lot of sand and I dug out this area uh, moving my stairway a little bit and as you can see some time has passed 11 cold coke and that's about half hour worth of waiting well digging for me so um, I want to make an alloy furnace. Oh, alloy furnace. Now that's bricks made with bricks. We're also gonna make this eventually, but yeah. Um, because I need to make blue alloy ingot and red alloy ingot. So, do I still have any bricks left? Did I put any in here? Yes, I did. I might want to just cook these up into bricks, but I'm not sure, so we're going to keep a bunch of it as uh, normal. So we'll just cook one stack for now. We'll grab the overclockers. Oh, there we go. And whoosh. So I'm going to need... Yeah. Eight, I suppose. That's how many? That's uh, 32, I think. Yeah, it is. So, let this become 32 cooked bricks. 
and it's so slow. 30, 31, 32. Thank you. And. Oh. Perfect. That's an alloy furnace. Awesome. We are going to put this one down here. Um, this will be the general area for the sorting machine, but this is where I will craft the stuff. So let's put it there. I will eventually be doing this with machines, I suppose. But for now, I need to grab a stack of coal, so I have that. And I need to make... I need to create an energy source, and I want to make uh, thermal pi uh, thermal piles. Yes, um, these guys. And as you can see, these require blue doped wafers, which is a silicon wafer, which is made from silicon bools, which is yeah, as you can see. So sand and coal, equal amounts. We'll grab half a stack of each. and we'll stick that coal in there. It shouldn't use up too much of that, but we will need a uh, diamond handsaw, I believe. Ouch. Two diamonds. The question is, do I have any diamonds? Yes, I got two. I got the suggestion to uh, transmute gold, stuff like that, and yeah, eventually I will. Um, because collecting all items will just take way too much time. However, that won't be for a while. Um, uh, I'm gonna try and collect most items, I think. Alright, so we got the silicon bulls. Oh, waste a little bit of energy there. But that's fine. So, we got 64 silicon wafers. Shouldn't need any more for quite some time. And I am going to craft up four thermal piles, so I'm gonna need a total of eight. So, for each blue doped wafer that I make, it's four nickelite and a wafer. Um, so yeah, that's half a stack of that. Hopefully this burns as normal, which means that all eight should be on one piece of coal. So I'll be back once this is done. And we are done. Perfect. So I also uh, will need some blue alloy ingots, because I need to make blue alloy wire. And uh, yeah, I need silver for these. I suppose there is no other way? No. So silver it is. I do have some. Let's um, let's make sixteen. Let me see. Sixteen. So that's going to be a lot of nickelite. But nickelite isn't that difficult to come by, and I will have quite a lot from this. I hope. So I'll be back once this is done smelted up. I'll also craft a couple of... Um, I'll grab a couple of wool. I'm gonna need to make a sheep farm soon, but I'll make wool from um, from our strings. Because, yeah, I can combine these to make at least 16 wool like that. So, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Alright. We have the blue alloy ingots, we have the blue doped wafers, we just need uh, another little component, and that's bronze, I think. Let's see, it's for the uh, thermo pile. Copper. Can make it using copper. So we need four, 16 copper and 8 iron. I got the iron, and let's. Uh, 
grab a bunch of that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna remove this recipe for now. And we'll build this like so. Like that. Like that. And like that. So that one, two, three, four. Awesome. Now, for the blue alloy ingots. Let's make... Uh, a couple. That's probably more than I will need for now, but I also need to make jacketed wires, so let me find my ruby handsaw. And I want this to be smooth stone. So let's cut the smooth stone up in slabs, panels, and covers. Right? Why am I doing this? Well, you will see. If I take... Oh, wait. If I take my covers like this, this makes hollow stone cover. But if I do that, it'll make stone jacketed blue wire. So, there I have eight of these. Perfect. Now we can set up this recipe again. Like so. Grab these and uh, put them in there. Cook up another set of these clay ones because we're going to need that eventually. So, Okay, I got the thermal pile, I got the wire, but for now I'm going to empty these into my chest here. And I'll run back and grab them in a while because I'm going to head down to the caves again. And uh, I need to take a look for... Um, Nicolite, redstone, but I also want to grab a bucket of lava. So, let's see here. We're going to have to cut more stone later, but yeah. I'm going to dash down into the caves, and you see I made a lot of wool. I should probably teach wool to the transmutation table. There we go. Because there are a few items that I have a lot of that I don't need. I will show you some in a while, like for instance, uh, um, I mean, I don't use a lot of these gems, and this is 44,000 EMC, which is quite a lot of wool if I should need it. I will probably have to do that instead of making a sheep farm. I'm lazy like that. So, I'll recharge my lap pack. Is. And it's charging. Oh, already 64 brick. Awesome. Let's grab. Wow, we almost didn't make it. Um, let's uh, build another one of these Coke ovens down here. We'll start by doing this. There's a spider somewhere. Mm, like this. Ta da! Another Coke oven. And this is happily trudging along. So let's grab a bunch of coal. And I do need to look for coal as well once I get down there. And we'll put it in there. Okay, guys. I'm going to head down these uh, caves now. Um, after I empty out my packs. <coughs> but uh, once I have some more materials, uh, I'll be back on camera again. So see you in a bit. Here I am, just crafting up another thermal pile because I realized that I will need five. So, uh, I want to place down a chest somewhere just to store the Thomcraft stuff that I get while I'm exploring so I can move it over to the Thomcraft base eventually. So, in my little trip down into the underground I collected quite a lot of things. I got 
two stacks of uh, redstone, about two stacks of nicolite. Um, why is the lapis there? Almost a full stack of lapis, four diamonds, a uh, number of these little things, and lots and lots of iron, and uh, copper, and some gold. And I'll be macerating these up. Let me see if that one is just finished. Yes, it is. That's silver dust, so let's keep cooking that and put something else in the macerator. Yeah, we can do the gold. I'm gonna need that eventually, so... Yeah. And... To make... the power station for which we need the thermal pulse... Where is it now? And this jacketed cable. We're also gonna need to make some batteries. And this battery is simplest made by copper and nickelite. You can yeah, copper, nickelite and tin. So let's grab about let me see. I'm gonna need to make at least three battery boxes. So let's make um, four of them. So sixteen batteries. Yeah, we'll just get a stack. And uh, a bunch of copper, a bunch of tin. And I think that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. I'll borrow this. The recipe is like this. And that. And uh, copper. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's... What did I run out of? Oh, hold on. I need more Nicolite. Yeah, I might not have enough Nicolite for all the batteries that I want to make. So, I can now make... I know this is not how you use this, but yeah. I'll make that many. Okay, I just need to save up on the uh, on the nickelite. Um, then I want to grab some blue aloe ingots, and I do know that I cooked some up down here. Yep, six of them. Perfect, and of course iron, but I do have that. So let's set up this recipe real quick. And uh, batteries like so, and wood. So we have three battery boxes. That should do for now. Um, I got the lava bucket. I want to make another bucket and grab some more water so that we have an endless water supply. I'll just go down to the water here. Water. Alright, I dug this out before. This is my little power station. How these thermal piles work, uh, let me just place one down real quick. It will require water on, let's see, five sides, so four and five, and then lava in one of them. That will generate power, and um, the way I want to do this is I want to put a lava block there, I think. Let's put this... Hmm. Let me just expand this one more. Hold on, I'll be right back. And what would digging be without finding coal? There is so much of it in my walls. So, <laughs> I'll just take this out. I still need to uh, put every piece of coal that I get into a coke oven. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter that much that I get it, but, you know. Let's see. Is that where I put that? No, that's where I put it. So, there and there. Um, the reason why I made it like this is that I want to have it nice and even. So one of the thermal piles will be there and 
that will be the lava point. Maybe I didn't want five thermopiles after all. And that will be one of them and that. Alright, I quite like this little design. I had it in a previous world, but I uh, never got to show it on camera. Let me just make an endless water supply real quick. Water there and there, and we can grab water. Now, since that will be the lava point, okay? So we want to fill that and that. That and that. That. <coughs> oh, I need to fill that and that and that point, okay? Now let's um, place down our thermal piles real quick here. That's one, two. Oh, I made this whole thing into an endless. There we go. And this will be the lava one. Just like so. And these ones should now produce enough energy. However, I do want to put a block of water. Let's see. There. Oh. Question is, will that be considered a water block if I close this one off? We'll see. Something like this. Okay. So let's see now. I might have to destroy this neat little construction. Yeah. Um, I'm curious now. I can't really dig down there without causing a flood. Hmm. I really want to see if that point there is a water block now. Yes, it is. Did I just break two? All right, guys. I'll sort this one out and uh, be right back with you, alright? Alright, so that's how I wanted it constructed. Right, so now these need to have these cables to connect them to anything. And what I want to do is uh, place a battery box there. And we should see this one slowly filling up. It might be very slow. But eventually this one will gain enough energy to produce a decent amount of power and it will stay pretty well supplied. And uh, now I want to... I can close this up. Can use that one. I wonder if I can use this one for anything. Oh. Alright, so... I'm just going to check there was one that I wanted to fix. One more. No. We're done. So this will fill up this battery box and uh, eventually we'll have a decent amount of energy from this. Now I want to get this energy up here. Okay. So um, I want to create some more jacketed stone uh, stone jacketed wire so let's see now I need to head up grab some of that and uh, do I have my ruby handsaw yes um, 24 stone covers that should be enough for now 
and I put three on each and then I put three blue oil ingots. So now I got sixteen. That's very nice. I got this one so I can cut up some more of this eventually. Okay. This now needs to be Let's put the other battery boxes. I will eventually expand this. I can have another one of these sitting next to this if I get the materials. It does cost quite a lot, so but that should be enough to generate a decent supply of energy for my machines. I hope. I haven't actually tried this build out so much. But for now, let's pull this one here. And uh Huh. So that is where I have that one. Let me see. Okay. So that's good. I can then set this from there and make it come up here. Brilliant. However, I'm not going to build it like so. I will show you in a moment what to do with this. I want to make it look nice and neat. So we do that, and then we take our trusted handsaw and uh, cut. I think I just need to have that money. And uh, I craft myself some stone covers. I think it's a hollow stone slab that I want. That one is connected. I want to make this a blue, uh, blue electric alloy furnace fairly soon. So let's see now. If I put that there. Okay, well this should work. They would connect, so um, I can put another one there. Okay. I will now put, let's see, put my battery boxes like this. I only have two for now, so these should start getting some of the power and they will even themselves out between each other as you can see there that one ran out and that one is filling and that one is filling so this one now has energy this one does too but it's very slow energy and it will slowly balance between these machines it will bounce back and forth okay turns out I didn't need these hollow covers after all so, what happens if I do that? Yes, just an almost stone. Perfect. So, blue electric alloy furnace. I need to make another one of these. Let me see. Four and one of these. And where did oh it ended up in the miner's backpack the coal just need a single coal although I should probably do this just to make sure that I use up the coal efficiently so I'll be right back once this is done and there we go just uh, grabbing the last uh, blue alloy from there and we want these because we are making a blue electric alloy furnace. Look at that. One iron on each side of a blue alloy and then bricks. And... Uh, huh. Interesting. I didn't know... Look at this. If I browse back here you should find... 
Oh, it's just a blue electric furnace. Oh, yeah. So, bricks. Do I have bricks? I should still have some bricks. I just need to have five of them. It's a shame you can't recover that one somehow, but... Yeah, I suppose there's nothing to do about that. Let's uh, smelt this up real fast. Oh, well, my inventory is really full, so I need a bunch of these. Uh, four, actually five. That's all I need. And then it's just one of these there. Iron on each side and then them bricks. Perfect. I could probably make two of these. Suppose it won't hurt. And, uh, oh. Just in case I need to smelt stuff at the same time. This can run. Um, and we can just now plop these down here. There we go. And you should see this charging up slowly. But getting there. And boom, we have electricity. Awesome. That means our batteries down here should now start filling up as well. Well, they are low, so eventually this will have... Oh, filled up enough. Perfect. I really like the way this looks. However, I am going to make a panel or two. Or is it a cover? I think it's a cover. Like that, and I can make. Yeah, let's make some more covers. Like so. And uh, craft up. I know this will be a lot of resources wasted in the long run, but I mean, it's stone. Come on. There we go. There we go. And it just disappears up. Don't you love the way these new little things work? They're awesome, I think. Um, I'm going to restructure these wires a little bit and uh, be right back with you. And I just set these to smelt up some more uh, blue alloy ingot because eventually I will need a lot more. But uh, just to show you that the power level is going down, but it should work. This one will be struggling. How's this one doing? Uh, struggling. As you can see, it's really, really low on energy there. So yeah, we're going to have to step up the energy production eventually. But the good thing with this is that I'm not very far from the surface at all. As you can see here, this is really just where the whole thing is. So I can build solar panels. So we're going to have to do that. So it's not too expensive in a, re uh, a recipe. You just use these... Uh, um, it's uh, blue oil ingot and uh, some other stuff. Yeah, so one moment, guys. Yeah, I just checked the time and we're running really late. Uh, it's uh, almost an hour soon. So I think this is a good point to say an end to this episode. In the next episode, I will try my best to get the sorting system working because that's going to be a very interesting little thing to do. Um, I have no idea how the sorting system will work. That's something that I'm going to have to experiment with and I probably will experiment a bit off camera on this um, just to make sure that I get get it correct, get it the way I want it to be. Um, so yeah that's uh, that. I am going to smelt up these as well, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and see ya guys. Bye!